My name is Leonard Dober. I'm 25 years old, and I came here to Hernhut with my family that we might practice our Christian faith in freedom and good conscience. I dwell with the single brothers, and every night we study medicine, geography, and foreign languages. For perhaps someday, God will allow us to bring his gospel to others who have not heard or believed. I learned the craft of pottery from my father, and we introduced artistic pottery to the Hernhut community as one of the trades that is practiced here. We came here as refugees beginning nine years ago and built this community entirely by ourselves. Most of us are from Moravia or Bohemia and we trace our roots back to a servant of God, John Huss, who was burned at the stake for his faith in 1415. For over 300 years, our history has been one of persecution and suffering for our Christian beliefs. Finally, here we have found refuge. Two men are largely responsible for this place, which is called Herrenhut. The first is Count Zinzendorf, now 31, a wealthy Saxon who was born into nobility, but who gave up his life in the royal court to follow Christ. He has given a portion of his estate for us to build on. The second is Christian David, a courageous convert who has made at least a dozen dangerous underground trips back into the homeland to lead out groups of families to come here and make a new life. Leonard. Hello, Tobias. The Count and David are arriving back from Copenhagen. They'll be here by nightfall, and we're all going to the Saal to hear of their journey. Thank you. I'll be there. It's so good to be back. We had a long journey back from Copenhagen. The horses are exhausted and so are we. The coronation was a magnificent event. We met so many people from all over Europe. And the reputation of Herrenhut has spread far and wide. People just can't understand it. Count Zinzendorf was awarded the highest honor of the Danish court, the Order of the Donnebroke. Thank you, David. Of course, attending the coronation was a splendid and unforgettable event. But it was not the coronation of King Christian VI which has preoccupied my thoughts on the long journey back from Copenhagen. 
what I have not been able to get out of my mind was a conversation that I had with a black man named Anthony. Anthony is now a servant of my own personal friend, Count Laurig, in Copenhagen. Laurig purchased Anthony from slavery on the island of St. Thomas in the West Indies. And since coming to Europe, Anthony has become a believer in Christ. Anthony told me about his life and his people. It is a scandal beyond description. Brothers and sisters, your fathers endured the fires of persecution because of their faith, which they themselves chose to hold. But Anthony's people were sold into slavery with no choice in the matter. The slaves are treated worse than beasts of burden. They are whipped constantly. I myself have seen the